What's up guys, Sal here. So at this point, the Galaxy Note 20 is anything but a mystery now. The unpacked event is happening on August 5, but that isn't stopping leakers to reveal new information about the handset. Today, IC Universe has revealed that the Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra will use a different material that will make it harder for the phone to slip out of your hand. You see, we are pretty much in the age of the glass sandwich. Almost all big smartphones have glass packs and most of them justify it by including wireless charging as a feature. And shiny smartphones sure do look dazzling, especially with the premium finishes that manufacturers come up with nowadays. But users have always had this one gripe with glossy devices. It looks good until you touch it. Then it becomes smudged in fingerprints. The shinier the finish, the worse it gets. Another main disadvantage is that it's slippery. Unlike a textured plastic or aluminum finish, regular glass tends to slip out of the hand easier. Not only that, but it also likes to slide off angled surfaces. Sometimes you'll only realize the surface isn't leveled by your phone slowly sliding off. To make matters worse, glass is also fragile, but I don't have to tell you that. Fragile and hard to hold is a dangerous combination. While manufacturers can design a device with a higher chance of surviving drops, the glass will still remain the weak point. But glass doesn't have to be so slippery and it seems Samsung is finally understanding that. And that's the reason the Galaxy Note 20 and Galaxy Note 20 Ultra will be equipped with a frosted glass finish. By the way, this isn't the first time we're seeing OEMs using a frosted glass pack. Apple used it on the iPhone 11 Pro, Google did this already with the Pixel 3 and even OnePlus with OnePlus 7 Pro. So the concept isn't totally new, but surely a step in the right direction for a lot of people. Also it should be noted that with current phones with frosted back, it seems they get scratched very easily. But that's not the case. The edge surface of frosted glass is microscopically rough. So they take off tiny chunks of softer materials as they rub against it. Basically, they are residue, which when wiped goes away. So good to see Samsung experimenting with various textures on glass, which will help us to have a better grip on our wildly expensive glass smartphones. Of course, you could use a case or skin, but some of us love the feel of a phone in all of its glory, experience as it's designed to be. It's a risky way of life to be sure, but a rewarding one. At the unpacked event on August 5, Samsung will unveil the Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra alongside the Galaxy Fold 2, Galaxy Watch 3, Galaxy Buds X and possibly the Galaxy S20 Lite aka the Galaxy S20 FE. All of these devices will be launched at the exact same date, but that doesn't mean they'll go on sale on the same date too. Apparently that's not happening. According to South Korean media, Samsung will opt for a 3 month release strategy where the Galaxy Note 20, Fold 2 and S20 FE will be released in succession 1 month apart. That is, the Galaxy Note 20 in August, Fold 2 in September and S20 FE in October. Apparently Samsung is doing this to not cannibalize the sales of one phone with the other and also to steal some limelight from Apple which usually launches their new flagships in September. Of course, with that being said, let me know what do you think about the frosted back on the Note 20. How do you prefer your phone's glass back to be, matte or glossy? Let me know down in the comments and be sure to subscribe for all the latest Galaxy Note 20 news and as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.